Well, let's find the altitude to hypotenuse of this triangle. First, we have to confirm that it is a right triangle. We can do that easily here. Remember, when you're doing this, 4 radical 13 squared, that's the 4 squared times the whole number 13. To be honest, I wouldn't have even done this. I would have used that little trick I showed you, the reduced triangle principle. I see a factor of 4 here, here, and here. Well, just simplify the figure. And there you go. A lot more straightforward. After all, you're just confirming the existence of a right triangle. So, save yourself some time there. Now let's get on to the, well, to what we're supposed to do here. And that is solve for this distance h. And that is, of course, theorem 7.5, which says the altitude of the hypotenuse splits the triangle into similar, three similar triangles. And I'm only going to consider two of the three. I'm looking at this triangle being similar to this one. Now, I'm not going to flip it around for you this time. Look at this triangle. H is the leg, and 12 is the hypotenuse. Similar to this overall triangle, 8 is the corresponding leg, corresponding to the H, that is, and 4 radical 13 is the hypotenuse. So, again, one more time, H is to 12 as 8 is to 4 radical 13. That's all you've got to do. Now let's set it up. Well, it is set up. You can multiply it. And, okay, we'll pull out the calculator just to show you two ways to do this. You're, all right, you've got this. You've got to take 96 and divide by 4 radical 13. Watch out for orders of operations. 96 divide by parentheses 4 times 13 square root close. 14.4, that's your approximation for 4 radical 13, equals, I see roughly 6.7. Now you could have done it, you could have also done it this way. You could have said 96 divide by 4, then again divide by radical 13, and you'd get to the same place. Or finally, maybe you did this, 4 times radical 13, that's 4 radical 13 again, 1 over x, to put it in the denominator and just multiply it times 96. Three ways, same answer. So there you go. The height to the nearest tenth, about 6 and 7 tenths. Well here, let's, well, let's first confirm this is a right triangle before we find the altitude to hypotenuse. I'm going to use the, well, the Pythagorean theorem converse. And a lot of you having trouble squaring these numbers. Remember, that's the number, the whole number 4, times the square root of 33. And when I square it, it's going to be something like this. I square the 4. Well, 4 squared is 16. Now, radical 33 squared is 33. So that's going to be 16 times 33. So it's going to be 528. And now, say, ruh -ruh, this is not a right triangle. So therefore, we can't have an altitude to the hypotenuse. Now, this one's not in our textbook, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm solving for x using the geometric mean leg theorem. And um, it's going to use a quadratic. All right, let's set it up. First off, the hypotenuse is, of course, x plus 6. And we know that x is to 4, as 4 is to x plus 6. But watch what happens when we write that down here. Hmm. You can see here, I'm going to generate an x squared term and an x term. Looks to me like a quadratic. So there you go. That's the multiplication. And let's do the or perform the distributive property there. And now you've got three different terms. Let's put it in quadratic form. Subtract the 16 from both, uh, both sides. And now, as you'd guess, all you've got to do is the factoring. Let's factor that bad boy there. And there you go. And you remember that from Algebra 1. Using the zero product property, I come up with two solutions. x is either negative 8 
or it's positive 2. Now the problem with that, well this is algebra, but over here is geometry. Can't have negative 8 long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disregard the negative in this case and say the answer must be 2 because 2 is to 4 as 4 is to 8. So in this example, easy one, you could have probably guessed your way to the solution, but now you see a method using the quadratic formula. So x is 2.